Bob and Zalen the Dragons Bob and Zalen are two young dragons. They were wondering what to do. They were bored. They had played all the dragon games to play. They've burnt all the things in their houses. They've even burnt each other's tails. Bored dragons are dangerous. Very dangerous. Bob and Zalen went to see their mum, who was in the kitchen having a nice cup of tea. Mum, we are bored, moaned Bob and Zalen. As Zalen kept saying, bored, Bob asked, what can we do? I reckon we have done everything possible for two dragons to do on the world ever times ten. You can't have done everything, my dear. Did you know there are humans in this town? And they have different things. Going to see the humans will stop you from being bored, said Mum. Humans! Humans! said Bob. Yes, why don't you two go see them? Can we eat them? asked Zalen. Nope, said Mum. Can we just eat some of them? asked Bob. No, you mustn't. Humans and dragons are friends. So be nice, said Mum. So what you're saying is, only eat some of the humans that are not friendly, said Zalen, winking at his mum. No, don't eat any humans at all, ever. Got it? asked Mum. By this point, Mum started changing colour from her usual blue and green to some red and yellow spots appeared on her belly and wings. She was getting angry. OK, Mum. OK, Mum. Don't worry. We understand, said the dragons. As Bob and Zalen flew from their cave, Zalen turned around and shouted to his mum, Mum, shall we bring you back a hot human takeaway? <laughs> and as they flew higher into clouds, they couldn't hear their mum anymore. I think she said something about 40 wagons, said Bob. As young Bob and Zalen hadn't quite figured out all the parts of flying, and as they landed just outside the human town, they crashed into some trees and scared some nearby cows and sheep. Humans! 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 Zalen was getting so excited, he was going a bit mad. Do you need to have a lie down? asked Bob. Worried Zalen that might explode, he was that excited. Both dragons started walking to the houses nearby. Zalen grabbed Bob's arm and pulled him down. What? What? shouted Bob. Zalen pointed at two people inside the first house they came to. Look at those funny horses, said Zalen. They are humans, Zalen, said Bob. Let's go check them out. Yes, 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 said Zalen. They sneakily walked into the back door, which was open. Both dragons were nervous. Zalen said, I'm feeling really gassy today. Oh, oh. And then Zalen let out a huge... Bleh. Out came a flame and instantly burnt down an entire wall of the house. Oops, said Zalen. What have you done, said Bob. Um, nothing, nothing, said Zalen nervously. They looked around the burnt wall and down the hall in the front room they saw two humans called Mia and Martin. That looked fun, whispered Bob to Zalen. Mia turned round. She had long brown hair, a long stripy dress with 58 on it and she was ever so beautiful. Look, said Mia to Martin. Martin turned around. He had no hair, a black coat with no number on it and he had a head that looked far too big for his body. Hello, uh, would you like to play a game, Mia asked. The dragons paused, thought for a minute, and said, yes, yes please, that would be lovely. Mia explained the rules to Zalen and Bob, and as they played, Zalen and Bob started laughing. Soon they were laughing so much that flames started to come out of their noses and their mouths and their ears, and even some came out of their bottoms. <laughs> 
and before anyone realised, the house was on fire! Bob and Zalen grabbed Mia and Martin and threw them straight out of the house. Mia and Martin couldn't thank them enough. But they soon realised that they didn't have anywhere to live. Bong! Mia had an idea. Bong! Mia said to Zalen and Bob, You burnt our house down playing charades. Bong! We have nowhere to live. Bong! All our stuff is burnt. Bong! Mia had only just the other day started adding a bong onto the end of every sentence she said. She didn't know why she did it. She just liked doing it. Zalen and Bob looked at each other and started talking at the same time. They should live with us. We could eat them. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can live with us. Wow, wasn't it weird that we had the same thought at the same time, Bob? <laughs> hmm, said Bob suspiciously. The dragons gently lifted Mia and Martin onto their backs and they flew them back to their home. Hi, Mum, said Zalen and Bob. Did you have a good time playing with the humans? said Zalen and Bob's mother. Well, um, the thing is, uh, nervously stuttered Zalen. Hello, said Mia. Where's my room? Zalen and Bob just looked at each other, then at the mum, and just shrugged. Zalen farted, burnt Martin trousers off, and Martin fainted. <laughs> and Mia skipped off happily with her new dragon friends, Bob and Zalen. So, do you want to play Give Us a Clue Now, dragons? asked Mia. Yes, yes, that would be brilliant, said Bob and Zalen excitedly. As Martin still lay on the floor, and the dragons and Mia ran off to play their game, Mummy Dragon just shook her head smiling. Those dragons, she said. <laughs>